After several months of planning, training, and development, Ford Motor Company Climate Control Division and Johnson Controls Engineered Plastics Division will begin to implement phase one of a solid modeling pilot program. This program is focused on making fundamental changes in the methods used in designing, developing, prototyping, and tooling radiator end tanks both at Ford and Johnson Controls Incorporated. The methods developed during this project will be applicable to all facets of product development in a wide range of products. The main objective of this program is to develop new design techniques and methodologies to enable both Ford and Johnson Controls to shorten the time required to design, develop, and produce radiator and tanks. Ford calls this timing objective world-class timing. After a careful review of the current processes and techniques used to design end tanks, it was determined that further reductions in time requirements were limited. Continuing this review, it was determined that any techniques or tools developed to enable us to reach the objective of world-class timing should have the capability to affect and optimize all phases of the product development cycle. These phases were identified as one, system design, two, component design, three, analysis, four, prototyping, five, tool design, and six, CNC tool manufacturer. An early conclusion reached during this review was that the component suppliers should become involved in a program at a much earlier stage than was common. They should become active participants in the design and development process, part of a simultaneous cross-functional engineering team. A second conclusion reached was that there was a significant amount of duplication of effort encountered during the product development life cycle. A good portion of this duplication was in the preparation of CAD databases, both 3D and 2D. Several product models were generated with additional error possibilities inherent with each model developed. It appears that a reduction in this duplication of effort would result in major gains in program timing with a corresponding reduction in errors. The use of a common part database for all phases of the product development from initial quotation through mass production would allow us to meet this requirement. A new modeling tool is necessary to allow one database to be used for the wide variety of tasks encountered in each phase of end tank design and development. The technology which has been identified is that of parametric solid modeling. Parametric solid modeling has the additional benefit of providing a geometry construction method which is easier and more flexible than other current modeling methods. The product design and development process may be compared to the building of a new house. Uh, in this case, the ultimate objective is to finish our house with a strong and solid roof. World class timing. All houses need a strong foundation for support. The foundation of our product development house is parametric solid modeling. In this case, Computer Vision's CADS 5, with additional support provided by the teamwork of Ford CCD, Johnson Controls EPD, and Computer Vision. The differences between parametric solid modeling and current wireframe modeling are easy to demonstrate. Wireframe techniques only define a skeleton-like framework of the product. Now this type of model is limited and geometrically incomplete. Even adding surface features to a wireframe does not fully define the complete geometry of a product. Many part features such as complex fillets or, or sculptured surfaces are difficult to model using wireframe techniques. Solid models overcome all the limitations inherent in other modeling techniques. The geometry of a part is completely defined mathematically as are all geometric and mass properties. Further, solid modeling greatly simplifies the construction of the complex geometries evident in end tank design. CADS 5 parametric techniques provide additional advantages. They allow an engineer or designer to model part features such that they can be quickly and easily modified later in the development process. Early in the design of a radiator system, 
Changes may be required to an end tank for changes in any number of system parameters. Heat loads, packaging requirements, mounting requirements, etc. are some examples of these changing system requirements. An engineer may desire to reduce the volume of the inside of the tank due to reduced coolant volume or flow requirements. Using parametric solid modeling, it is a simple matter of changing the controlling parameter, highlighted in red, to affect this change in tank shape. After regenerating the model, a process of approximately 15 minutes, the CAD database and visual model are modified to the new shape. By using the parametric capabilities of CADS 5, this dramatic change in tank shape was accomplished by changing only one number. Component design is the next portion of the product development house, which will be improved through the use of parametric solids. During the design and development phase of individual components, such as radiator end tanks, many features are modified, moved, or added as other interfacing components or product requirements change. Standard features, such as hose connectors or brackets, can be stored in a library as a solid and inserted as necessary into the base tank design. Moving a feature to a new location is again simply the matter of changing the controlling parameter. In this example, the controlling dimension of the location of the drain cock is highlighted on the screen in red. This indicates that the dimension, or parameter, has been modified from its original value, but that the model has not been updated to show the change. After regenerating the model, both the CAD database and visual model have been modified to reflect this change in drain cock location. At an early point in the development process, some form of finite element analysis will be performed, structural or stress analysis, vibrational analysis, and or plastic flow and cooling analysis. By using the same CAD database for the preparation of a finite element mesh, the analysis phase can proceed almost simultaneously with the design phase. The results of the analysis can be quickly fed back to the engineers and designers for product modifications as necessary. The solid model database can also be utilized in producing SLA types of rapid prototypes. The CAD database can be directly translated into the star.stl file required by all stereolithographic systems. Non-functional parts can be produced in a matter of days. Although these parts are not true functional components, they can be used for design reviews, compatibility reviews, or packaging and interference reviews. Once the design is completed and verified by analysis and prototyping, we can quickly begin to design steel mold tooling, again utilizing the same CAD database shared between Ford and JCI. The basic CAD model can be quickly and easily expanded to account for plastic shrinkage during processing. The model can then be modified to compensate for any anticipated sidewall bow or part warpage. With other CAD modeling techniques, this requires that a totally new CAD model be built. Not only does this take additional time, but it is an additional step with the possibility of errors occurring during this procedure. Using the parametric solid model, the part model can be changed for bow and or warp by simply modifying the controlling parameters, shown in red, defined during construction of the initial model. After modifying the model for bow and warp, the mold is essentially designed around the part database. Cavity, core, slides, water lines, etc. are built up using the modified part database. 
The completed mold design is assured of having the correct part geometry due to its associativity to the part model. After the basic mold design is complete, we can use this mold database built using our original CAD part model to transfer solid and surface data to the CNC department. Machine cutter paths are generated using the same database as developed during tool design. If any modifications are made to our original database, CNC cutter paths will be automatically updated using the parametric connectivity of the CAD model. This helps to ensure the correctness of all databases, as well as reducing time required for a mold tune-up and engineering changes. An interesting and useful feature of CADS 5 software is the ability to create shaded model images from the CNC tool path data. This provides a visual method for verifying the cutter paths developed. As we have shown, parametric solid modeling is a powerful tool upon which we can build our house to obtain a world-class product. However, it is just that, a tool. Ford Motor Company and Johnson Controls must continue to work together to develop the necessary expertise to use this tool to its fullest potential. When used correctly and efficiently, this new expertise and the procedures and methodologies we jointly develop have the potential to improve the design process for all the products we are involved with. Our pilot development program is a long-term plan which is intended to develop methodologies and expertise in all of the areas representing pillars of our product development house. In this first phase, we will build experience and expertise in one or two of these pillars with a corresponding small improvement in our timing objectives. However, the full potential of these tools will only be realized upon completion of the entire program, that is, completion of the product development house. We must continue to commit the necessary resources and jointly manage the building of the house in order to achieve world-class timing. Let's summarize the status of our joint pilot development program. Computer Vision CADS 5 chosen as a solid modeling software package. JCI identifies dedicated engineer for pilot program development. One Ford and one JCI employee completed CADS 5 training jointly at Computer Vision, Boston, Massachusetts. Initial methodologies developed to use parametric solids in radiator end tank design. DN-101 chosen for phase one program development. PDGS wireframe completed, CADS 5 model being built using wireframe as basis. Limited use of 2D drawings. Simplified 2D drawings to be used for inspection purposes only. The DN-101 N-Tank program portion of the pilot program will be completed in June of 1992. A review of the results of our effort will occur, and appropriate refinements to our plans will be made. We hope that additional areas of this plan can be incorporated into a design program during the third quarter of this year.